Hi, this is Matter of Sound. It's Emily without Hattie today. She's gone off skiing. Um, a well deserved break. She's been on the radio at XFM for 16 days or something like that, so it's absolutely manic. So today's record store day. It's really early in the morning, and I'm going to head into Manchester now, check out the queues outside Piccadilly Records, which started yesterday at 1 pm in the afternoon. It's ridiculous. I'm going to chat to people that are first in line, see what they want to get, see what they want to get their hands on vinyl wise, and hopefully get something that I'm after myself as well. What time did you get here? Uh, got here about one o'clock yesterday afternoon. And you're second in line. How does it feel to like achieve second position in the line outside for Billy Records? I was uh, in about the first seven last year, so two's an, an improvement. On last year, yeah. Yes. but it's good because you know you're going to get everything you want on the list. And why is Record Store Day so important to you? I've collected vinyl since my teens, so vinyl's always been a big part of my life. And now it's come back to the fore, but I, I've never stopped buying it. Yeah, yeah, of course. So, and what are the top, say, three? I know you've been highlighting these yeah, sheets, yeah, yeah. but what are your top three that you really want to get today? Uh, Father John missed it. Um, I'm going for Placebo for one of the original albums again. Um, that's what I go for. Uh, I've got, I've got so many. There's quite a few. outside vinyl exchange yes. what made you come to this queue rather than to the queue oh, in the wow, road Dominic Go well for it. we um we did we went to um the back Piccadilly of the queue records, for Piccadilly yeah. Records but it was like it was about 150 people passed and we saw there was nobody outside this one so we kind of took the risk yeah I just thought I'd rather take the risk and have a good shot at getting someone here than not really likely to get something there yeah for sure so for sure you know. so do you guys are you from Manchester no well we we study no we study at uni yeah okay cool so you're studying at uni and what made you decide to come down for record store day if you Clara's puzzle <laughs> just really really desperate to get it yeah if yeah, you're great aren't they I love yeah. all their old stuff as well like black and sky and that so what are you after um quite a lot of things actually honey bloods we are scientists uh pulp David Bowie pitched this so I've got a little you know I've got a little <laughs> list going on. secret list going yeah. on so for you guys, why is Record Store Day so important? It's just one of those things that I think if you're into music and you're into records, then you know it's just a little day where you can get stuff that isn't hasn't previously yeah. been released and things. So it's just a nice little sort of day to come out. Yeah, for sure, and it's so nice to see other people as well yeah. that love music and care that much to sit outside. Yeah, I mean, like we've had a few people just come up to us and ask us what we're planning to get. One guy, he had the flesh and jacket over there. Yeah, he yeah. came up and had a chat with us, and just we were chatting about what we wanted and what vinyls yeah. were like. But everyone else has just been asking us what we want, just to hope that they don't want that. Okay. Don't want the same thing as that. <laughs> so you not um, how, when did you get here? Last uh, night? No, we got here yeah. at about five thirty. Okay, yeah. good, good. Because the woman at the front of Piccadilly Records got there at one p.m. yesterday afternoon. Seriously, that's Are you dedication. That is dedication. Wow, I'll take impressive. my I take my hat off if I could. So tell me your name and, and where you come from to get here today. Uh, my name is Dylan and uh, I've come from Wales all the way to Manchester just to uh, get these records it's today. Amazing. So how far in the line were you? Like six or something uh, like that maybe? Yeah, six, six to ten around there. So what did you get? Uh, I got heaps. I got uh, all the 1975 EPs. Oh amazing, yeah. 1975, brilliant. Yeah. So what? Why do you want to get this on? Uh, because I've got the deluxe like CDs and all that, and they finally come out on record. And Manchester band as well, so it's yeah. nice to get something from Manchester in Manchester. Yeah, always. Yeah. What else did you get? Uh, booze. 
Fighters. Food Fighters, amazing, <laughs> yeah, that's wicked. Yeah. So what are you going to spend the rest of the record store day doing? Uh, sleeping then, listening to these. <laughs> So I'm here with Wayne, who was second in line, and he's just come out of the shop with loads of records because you had a massive list and you were highlighting them all through. I did. Which is the one that you've picked out to show show me? Out of all of them, this was the main one I wanted. It's Father John Misty, I Love You Honey Bee. I've just bought his album, I Love You Honey Bear, and it was absolutely fantastic. It was my album of the year, uh, and it's on the great label, Bella Union. This band's very special, uh, Sky Valley Mistress. The first time I was in the queue, they actually came and gave out free CDs, limited. Uh, and they called them the best thing you've never heard. You know what? I remember them coming around last they year. They did. Queue, yeah. Free music in a box. They had 100 CDs. I was lucky enough to get one of them. I took it home, not knowing what to expect, and it was absolutely wonderful. We decided to go over to Vinyl Exchange instead of Piccadilly right. Records because we actually could get in. And I got War Paint remixed with um, Daughter, so look forward to listening to that. Just looked down the list quickly and thought, you know what, I'll get that. I think that'll be a good one. And then I also got this one, which I'm really excited about. Tegan and Sarah. Look at their beautiful faces. Uh, that's one main reason to get this. So it's an exclusive Record Store Day release. Um, they recorded this two years ago in a record shop in Phoenix that they really like performing in. Um, so really looking forward to this. I Was a Fool is on it and Goodbye Goodbye, so it should be a really good listen and a great piece to put on my wall probably as well. So it's been, as I said, it's been a really good day. Um, we met people in the queue. The first person in the queue is really record. Uh, couldn't be on camera, she was secretly off work. Uh, but she was great, she was chatting to us about the night and how it had all gone and she'd gone for the Foo Fighters uh, LP that you saw previously in the video and she's explaining that it was the transition of Dave Grohl from Nirvana to Foo Fighters so that sounded like a good one to get. I think it had run out by the time we got to the front of the queue. So I'm going to stop talking, probably going to get another coffee and then head back, get some sleep like everyone else and listen to some records. So have a great record store day and see you later. Sleeping in. See, you know how to do it. I can't do it at all. It's like watering a plant, except it needs to. <laughs> yeah. 